Hello everyone, I'm Srishti. Uh, I'm a UX UI designer by profession. I have been working on a vocabulary learning application called LearnLingo. It's a fun app that can be used by anyone. It has lots of new and unique features for a vocabulary learning app. I wanted to share the process that I followed while working on it. So let's get started. Let's meet Karan. He is a fictional persona created based on the user interviews I conducted on my app's potential users. He is 26 years of age. He, is, he lives in Berlin, Germany. He recently moved from New Delhi, India. He works as a front-end developer at a fintech startup. He speaks Hindi and English. Hindi is his mother tongue and English is his second language. He is married and he also has two little chihuahua dogs. Let's know more about him. He is a busy professional who has limited free time, mostly while commuting. He is a tech savvy person who enjoys the latest technology products and services. He likes to use apps with latest design and a good user experience. He is a hardworking employee who likes to flourish at work. He wants to get more familiar with the native language at work and in the city. Let's see some of the current goals and challenges he faces. Wants to feel more confident at workplace. He wants to feel part of the community. He's inspired by new features and apps. He has habit of procrastinating regular reminds, reminders needed. He quotes, I have a very busy schedule with work and family life. I hardly get any time for learning new skills or follow my hobbies. I try to push myself to learn in German language as I understand its importance in my daily life. According to all the data I collected and the user personas I've made, the user tests that I did, the problem statement that came out was that Karan needs to learn German as he feels that it is very important for him to do so. Learning will make a huge difference in his daily life. Due to his busy schedule and struggling to complete his task, he is not able to integrate the learning in his schedule. The hypothesis or the, the solution that I think could help him is creating a learning experience which is easy, intuitive and helps him solve his daily life problems. For example, translating a document that you know is in German language but he knows English. So basically an application with good user experience, fun to use in less time and has all the features that is required by users like Karan. All along my goal has been focused on this while I was creating the sketches and moving forward with creating the app. These were some of my early sketches that I created while I was working on the LearnLingo app. I created the sketches keeping in mind some important features that I thought could be helpful for my users uh, that are creating your own vocabulary, um, scan and translate the documents, words and have conversation in different languages using the app. I improved the sketches and created screens that could be used in usability testing. So this was the prototype that I created for LearnLingo. Uh, at some points, it, it was pretty easy to use, but at certain points, some screens were missing. So these were my participants for usability testing. Um, usability testing actually proved to be very helpful, helpful in the process. All of my participants were from very different walks of life with different opinions on possible improvements for the app. I want to thank all of them for helping me in the journey. I created some tasks. First of the task was just download the learning app and uh, see what it delivers on the holes. Let's just start using it. So I go to start your learning and I want to learn, I speak English, I want to learn German and I want to learn it for culture. I am definitely new to German. So before this, uh, this particular screen was pretty messy. So. Uh, my users told me that it looks really messy, a lot of things are there and they're not able to focus on the screen. So I improved the screen. Next task was some of the important bank documents came in at your place with the country's native language, which is not your language yet. Try translating those documents using LearnLingo. All the users were very confused because a lot of screens were missing while they were using the feature. So they, they went to camera, they click on translate but nothing happened so I introduced the screen I added the screen then I added this particular screen to 
give them an idea of how the view would look once they have translated the document and and then they can come back close this let's move on to this uh, last task you work and live in germany your colleague has ha uh, was having a conversation with you and used some german words which you didn't understand the meanings of try and translate them using learn lingo when the users took this task it was pretty difficult to translate anything because a lot of screens were again missing um when you go on conversation you didn't really know what to do so i created some of the helpers here and i also added some of the screens that were missing before uh, like you can swipe and then you can select the language you want to uh, you want to have conversation in and then you can just you know press this and speak and this is how this translation would come so all these features i added and i completed the flow of the conversations these were the changes or the feedback that the users gave me and accordingly i improved the prototypes i improved the overall translation tab conversions flow added the screens that were missing uh, and also i improved the home screen uh, increased the white space some missing screens like adding language were added sign up screens were not there before only sign in screens were there i added those so on the whole, it was a very learn learning experience for me. And as the next steps, um, I would definitely want to do user testing before moving forward. Um, after the user testing uh, and knowing more about my users' needs and how my what value of my product is, I would like to move to high fidelity wireframing with prototyping. And once the wireframes are, are done, I would like to start with the design process. In the whole process, in my whole journey, uh, my learnings were a lot. I learned that I learned the importance and types of user testing. Uh, I learned what is user interviews, why we conduct them and how we conduct them, uh, proper design process that we need to follow in any project. And I think I need to improve on proper planning and execution before I start the project. And while I'm on the very early stage, like on sketches, I should keep in mind every small detail that I could I can actually think of while I'm working on the sketches. So overall, uh, my pro uh, the process, the learning student process were, were a lot and it was a very enjoyable process. I hope you liked the video and uh, I hope you enjoyed my process. I want to thank all my participants and uh, thank you so much for listening.